An apartment maintenance worker killed while conducting a welfare check. He and a co-worker were unknowingly sent into a crime scene where two others were found dead. And only one of them came out alive. Fox News' Mike Allen joins us now from the Southwest Valley where neighbors there have plenty of concerns. Yeah, Jacqueline, Kim, actually just before I set up here, police were taking down this crime tape, except for this part, and now they're setting up an interior perimeter. So this part behind me here, which has been closed off since about 9 a.m. today, is now finally open for people to come in and out. And that maintenance worker you mentioned, he was in his 40s, and he was found along with another man in his 40s and a woman in her 80s here at the Rancho de Montana apartment complex. Since I've been to Vegas, I've been in this area, and um, I've never heard of anything like this happening. Neighbors are shocked after a man allegedly killed a maintenance worker and two others at this complex around 9 Tuesday morning in what folks tell me is an otherwise safe neighborhood. The reason we moved to Spring Valley was to hopefully, you know, purchase a home in a year or two. Here's what happened, according to police. The leasing office sent two maintenance workers to an apartment for a welfare check. Once inside, the suspect attacked the maintenance workers, but one of them got away. When police got there, the suspect ran through the leasing office and toward Flamingo before he was caught. Police say when he was caught, he was carrying a sledgehammer-like weapon. Officers also found two other victims in the home, along with the maintenance worker. We talked with someone who lived next door to the suspect, asking if they had noticed anything about the suspect. I just happened to see him in the neighborhood when I first moved here and, you know, uh, just seemed a little disturbed, maybe, probably medicated or so, but it was just something odd about him. I don't know where he lived at, uh, you know, he was just walking around the neighborhood all times of the night, not, not really bothering anybody. This man, who did not want to use his name, told us it's not quite clear exactly what he should do now to feel safe. What can you do? Where can you go? Where, there's nowhere to run or hide. Um, you just pray to God and live your life. Neighbor Vincent Kizada told us he will be taking some extra precautions now. When you stopped me, I was going out to do my exercise. I just walked out of my apartment and left the door unlocked. And so as soon as we get off the phone, I'm going to call my wife and be like, honey, please lock the door. The suspect has been described as a man in his 30s. And again, he is in police custody. Reporting live tonight from Flamingo near Fort Apache, Mike Allen, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.